When you think of what millionaires buy, your mind probably goes to huge houses, yachts, and flashy cars. Those are the things that society teaches us rich people should buy with their money. But I don't really believe that. What do I do instead? I like to use what I call the money dial approach. I spend extravagantly on the things I love, and I cut way back on the things I don't. And I take this seriously. So here's a list of seven unconventional purchases that have massively improved my life as a millionaire. Starting with my old Honda Accord. When people find out that I'm a millionaire who still drives the same Honda Accord I bought in 2005 after graduating college, they get really mad. They leave comments like, what's the point of being a millionaire? And what's the point of making money when you drive a Honda? First of all, this is an LX V6, my friends. This is a nice car. Now, could I buy a new car tomorrow? Sure. Could I buy it in cash? Yes. But is it important to me right now? No. I just don't care about a new car in this season of my life. I hardly drive at all. And when I do, the car works fine. I keep it in meticulous condition and it works. It's also paid off so I don't have a monthly payment. Now, not spending money on a new car allows me to put that money towards other things that are more important to me, which actually brings me to the next item. And that's something that always shocks people when I mention it. I own a sweater that costs more than my car. You see, one of my personal money rules is buy the best and keep it for as long as possible. And I actually really love nice clothes, but I didn't always value them. Take a look at this picture of me in the first edition of my book. This photo was taken around 2008, looking like a uh, Indian Santa Claus here, no shoes on, the jeans oversized on the cut. In fact, when they first sent me a picture of what this was gonna look like, I'm not kidding. They took my face and stitched it onto a model's body. I am not exaggerating. This actually happened. This is actually my body though. As I got a little bit older, I got really interested in the design and craftsmanship of great clothes. I also met my wife, Cassandra, who's a personal stylist who helped me elevate my style. Now I love Italian fashion and this particular sweater that I'm wearing costs about seven to $9,000. That's more than my car is worth. Now, who would spend that kind of money on it? Especially because there's no label. You would never know looking at it. Well, it's not for anyone else, it's for me. And I've held on to this sweater for about five years. I plan to have it for another 15 years. Is it worth it? Well, it was to me. The sweater is made of vicuña, which is a very rare type of fabric. And vicuña is an animal. They're not harmed as a sweater is made, but they were going extinct because royalty used to wear vicuña. And a company came along and preserved these vicuña and worked with the local population to be able to help them multiply. Now vicuña are much more stable, but they only produce an extremely small amount of fabric every single year. It's also really hard to get to the area that they live in in South America. Anyway, I love the craftsmanship. I love the design. Keeps me warm, but it's also breathable. And so for me, it is worth it. Speaking of which, let's talk about item number three, sneakers with free lifetime repairs. Another one of my favorite brands, Brunello Cuccinelli. I love their sneakers. I bought this exact pair many, many years ago. They cost about 500, 700 bucks. I wore them everywhere. I shot my Netflix show wearing them. I've traveled with them abroad and they got worn down. Now, some of the places that I buy my clothes from offer free tailoring and free lifetime repairs totally complimentary. And these are some of the perks of these high-end brands. They'll even repair sweaters with holes in them, coats, pants, shoes, all of it. So I took these in, they sent them back to Italy. They said it would take a few months. I said, no problem. At higher end places, things take time. Fine restaurants take hours, bespoke suits take months. Life is not always about efficiency. So they sent them back to Italy. They were repaired by artisans in their factory and then they shipped them back to me. Now, could I buy five new pairs of shoes instead? Sure, but I don't want them. There's something rewarding about not buying fast fashion or cheap fads for the things that are important to you. I care about clothes and I care about the people who made them. That's one of the reasons that I actually went to Solomeo in Italy to visit the factory and see where shoes and sweaters are made. See, there's this phrase, luxury is that which can be repaired, that we're not always looking to buy something cheap and dispose of it. 
and these shoes are just a tiny example. That brings us to item number four, duplicate French presses. Now you may have heard me talk about how we need to stop agonizing over $3 questions and start asking $30,000 questions and stop worrying about your $3 coffee. I know a bunch of you go, coffee isn't $3 anymore, try $7. That's not the point. Even though I don't want you to feel guilty over your daily coffee, most of the time I prefer to make my own. But I will tell you that one of the things that annoyed me was I'd wake up every morning and my French press would be dirty. And there I am early in the morning, haven't had coffee, and I'm sitting there having to scrub it. So you know what I did? I bought two. Cost me like 20 bucks, but it's one of those small expenses that makes me irrationally happy always having a clean French press every single morning. So I know I've talked about expensive sweaters and sneakers, but you can see that the rich life is not necessarily about just spending a ton of money on everything. So as we go through this list, I have a question for you. How can you spend $20 to make yourself happy every single day? That's what my French press does for me. Now, the things that I've spent money on are not just products. In fact, the next couple examples are experiences that I've paid for, and number five has changed my life. That is a posture coach. You know, I've spoken to millions of people about money and careers, psychology and business. I've done speaking engagements, my podcast. I have a Netflix show called How to Get Rich. And when people see me, I want them to feel comfortable. I don't want them to feel like some stuffy guy in a suit is gonna tell them they can't buy anything. I want them to feel like I'm approachable and that I'm actually listening to them because I am. And it was important for me to present myself that way. To make sure I did, I hired a posture coach. I also have to admit that I saw myself in a photo taken from the side and I was not happy with my posture. So, did you know that a thing exists like a posture coach? I didn't. And when I tell people that I hired one, they're fascinated with the idea. Here's how it happened. I had this book that I had gotten called Eight Steps to a Pain-Free Back. And the book was absolutely amazing. But as I was reading it, I'm like, I don't know how to do this. And then I went online and realized that they have classes. Now they had group classes, but I wanted something private, something that was focused just on me and exactly what I needed. So here's how much it cost me. I took the foundations course, the private one, that's six 45 minute lessons. The cost was $900 for those six lessons, but I asked the instructor to come to me. Her office was way uptown. I just preferred that she come to me. That was an additional $450 for a total of $1,350. Now, my instructor was Cynthia Rose in New York City. By the way, Cynthia is so fantastic. Years later, after we finished working together, she followed me. She saw me on my Netflix show and she sent me an email saying, can I send you some feedback on your posture in the show? And she sent me this detailed list of things to keep my eye on, where I was doing well, how to recalibrate. If anyone needs any body work, go to Cynthia Rose in New York City. Tell her that I sent you. She is phenomenal and she does not know that I'm doing this today. Now, the things I learned from her involve changing the way that I hold my body. I also learned which chair to get, which footrest to get, how to improve my posture while sitting and driving. It was life changing. And another skill that's benefited my personal life and my career is lessons on how to take better pictures. My wife and I were on our honeymoon. We were in Kenya. I didn't realize this at the time, but it's hard to take really good photos of animals, especially while you're moving from a distance. So I came back at the end of the day and looked at my photos and they were all horrible, totally blurry, not good at all. There was a photographer in residence at the lodge we were staying at. And I asked him, hey, would you mind coming out with us tomorrow and showing me how to shoot animals? He said, yeah, of course. He charged me a little bit for it, but I was more than happy to do it. And look at the before and after photos. They are striking. And when I think back to that honeymoon years and years ago, I do not think about the cost. I look at these photos and I think about what an amazing time my wife and I had. And taking photos like this is a skill that I will have for the rest of my life and certainly a creative way that I can spend more money to create magical experiences. Okay, we've got one item left, but before we jump into that, I noticed that only 39% of you are subscribed while watching my videos. So the odds are that you 
Yes, you are not subscribed. Do me a favor, click subscribe so that you can follow along to all of my new videos. All right, this last item has made such a difference in improving my health and saving me time, and it is healthy meals that are delivered regularly. Now, if you've seen photos of me, I used to describe myself as a skinny Indian guy for years. It actually became my identity. In 2009, when I was living in New York, I hired a personal trainer and never looked back. Nowadays, my trainer creates my nutrition plan based on my goals, and then I get healthy meals that taste great based on that plan delivered to me. They don't require any time at all. And I have to tell you, I love spending money on this because it ties into my main money dial, which is convenience. Remember, the more you design your rich life, the more it's gonna fit you like a handmade glove. And in fact, the less it should make sense to other people. Check out this video popping up on screen right now to watch more.